Terrestrial time TT is a modern astronomical time standard defined by the International Astronomical Union, primarily for time measurements of astronomical observations made from the surface of Earth. For example, the Astronomical Almanac uses TT for its tables of positions ephemerides of the Sun, Moon and planets as seen from Earth. In this role, TT continues terrestrial dynamical time TDT or TD, which in turn succeeded ephemeris time ET. TT shares the original purpose for which ET was designed, to be free of the irregularities in the rotation of Earth. The unit of TT is the SI second, the definition of which is currently based on the cesium atomic clock, but TT is not itself defined by atomic clocks. It is a theoretical ideal, and real clocks can only approximate it. TT is distinct from the time scale often used as a basis for civil purposes, Coordinated Universal Time UTC. TT indirectly underlies UTC, via International Atomic Time TIE. Because of the historical difference between TIE and ET when TT was introduced, TT is approximately 32.184 s ahead of TIE. History A definition of a terrestrial time standard was adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 1976 at its 16 General Assembly, and later named Terrestrial Dynamical Time It was the counterpart to Barycentric Dynamical Time which was a time standard for solar system ephemerides, to be based on a dynamical time scale. Both of these time standards turned out to be imperfectly defined. Doubts were also expressed about the meaning of «dynamical» in the name TDT. In 1991, in recommendation IV of the 21 General Assembly, the IAU redefined TDT, also renaming it «terrestrial time». TT was formally defined in terms of geocentric coordinate time TCG, defined by the IAU on the same occasion. TT was defined to be a linear scaling of TCG, such that the unit of TT is the SI second on the geoid Earth surface at mean sea level. This left the exact ratio between TT time and TCG time as something to be determined by experiment. Experimental determination of the gravitational potential at the geoid surface is a task in physical geodesy. In 2000, the IAU very slightly altered the definition of TT by adopting an exact value for the ratio between TT and TCG time, as 1 minus 6.969290134 times 10 minus 10. As measured on the geoid surface, the rate of TCG is very slightly faster than that of TT. See below, relativistic relationships of TT. Current definition TT differs from geocentric coordinate time TCG by a constant rate. Formally it is defined by the equation where TT and TCG are linear counts of SI seconds in terrestrial time and geocentric coordinate time respectively, LG is the constant difference in the rates of the two time scales, and E is a constant to resolve the epochs see below, LG is defined as exactly 6.969290134 times 10-10. In 1991 when TT was first defined, LG was to be determined by experiment, and the best available estimate was 6.96 the equation linking TT and TCG is more commonly seen in the form where JD TCG is the TCG time expressed as a Julian date JD. This is just a transformation of the raw count of seconds represented by the variable TCG, so this form of the equation is needlessly complex. The use of a Julian date specifies the epoch fully. The above equation is often given with the Julian date 2443144.5 for the epoch, but that is inexact though inappreciably so, because of the small size of the multiplier LG. The value 2443144.5003725 is exactly in accord with the definition. Time coordinates on the TT and TCG scales are conventionally specified using traditional means of specifying days, carried over from non-uniform time standards based on the rotation of Earth. Specifically, both Julian dates and the Gregorian calendar are used. 
For continuity with their predecessor Ephemeris Time ET, TT and TCG were set to match ET at around Julian date 2443144.5 the 1st of January 1977 TOOZ. More precisely, it was defined that TT instant the 1st of January 1977 T 0 hours 0 minutes and 32 seconds 184 exactly and TCG instant the 1st of January 1977 T 0 hours 0 minutes and 32 seconds 184 exactly correspond to the International Atomic Time TIE instant the 1st of January 1977 T 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds 000 exactly. This is also the instant at which TIE introduced corrections for gravitational time dilation. TT and TCG expressed as Julian dates can be related precisely and most simply by the equation JDTT equals EJD plus JDTCG minus EJD 1 minus LG where EJD is 2443144.5003 725 exactly equals topic realization equals tt is a theoretical ideal not dependent on a particular realization for practical purposes tt must be realized by actual clocks in the earth system the main realization of tt is supplied by ti the Thai service, running since 1958, attempts to match the rate of proper time on the geoid, using an ensemble of atomic clocks spread over the surface and low orbital space of Earth. Thai is canonically defined retrospectively, in monthly bulletins, in relation to the readings that particular groups of atomic clocks showed at the time. Estimates of Thai are also provided in real time by the institutions that operate the participating clocks. Because of the historical difference between TI and ET when TT was introduced, the TI realization of TT is defined thus TT tie equals TI plus 32.184 S. Because TI is never revised once published, it is possible for errors in it to become known and remain uncorrected. It is thus possible to produce a better realization of TT based on reanalysis of historical TI data. The BIPM has done this approximately annually since 1992. These realizations of TT are named in the form TT BIPM 08, with the digits indicating the year of publication. They are published in the form of table of differences from TT TI. The latest as of February 2018 is TT BIPM 17. The international communities of precision timekeeping, astronomy, and radio broadcasts have considered creating a new precision time scale based on observations of an ensemble of pulsars. This new pulsar time scale will serve as an independent means of computing TT, and it may eventually be useful to identify defects in TI. Approximation <inaudible> <inaudible> Sometimes times described in TT must be handled in situations where TT's detailed theoretical properties are not significant. Where millisecond accuracy is enough or more than enough, TT can be summarized in the following ways. To millisecond accuracy, TT runs parallel to the atomic time scale, International Atomic Time, TI, maintained by the BIPM. TT is ahead of TIE, and can be approximated as TT TIE plus 32.184 seconds. The offset 32.184s arises from the history. TT also runs in parallel with the GPS time scale, which has a constant difference from atomic time TIE minus GPS time equals plus 19 seconds, so that TT GPS time plus 51.184 seconds. TT is in effect a continuation of but is more precisely uniform than the former ephemeris time ET. It was designed for continuity with ET, and it runs at the rate of the SI second, which was itself derived from a calibration using the second of ET see, under ephemeris time, redefinition of the second and implementations. TT runs a little ahead of UT1 a refined measure of mean solar time at Greenwich by an amount known as delta T. Equals TT minus UT1. 
Delta T was measured at plus 67.6439 seconds, TT ahead of UT1 at 0 H UTC on 1 January 2015, and by retrospective calculation, delta T was close to zero around the year 1900. The difference delta T, though somewhat unpredictable in fine detail, is expected to continue to increase, with UT1 becoming steadily but irregularly further behind TT in the future. Topic. Relativistic relationships Equals Observers in different locations, that are in relative motion or at different altitudes, can disagree about the rates of each other's clocks, owing to effects described by the theory of relativity. As a result, TT even as a theoretical ideal, does not match the proper time of all observers. In relativistic terms, TT is described as the proper time of a clock located on the geoid essentially mean sea level. However, TT is now actually defined as a coordinate time scale. The redefinition did not quantitatively change TT, but rather made the existing definition more precise. In effect it defined the geoid mean sea level in terms of a particular level of gravitational time dilation relative to a notional observer located at infinitely high altitude. The present definition of TT is a linear scaling of geocentric coordinate time TCG, which is the proper time of a notional observer who is infinitely far away so not affected by gravitational time dilation and at rest relative to Earth. TCG is used so far mainly for theoretical purposes in astronomy. From the point of view of an observer on Earth's surface the second of TCG passes in slightly less than the observer's SI second. The comparison of the observer's clock against TT depends on the observer's altitude, they will match on the geoid, and clocks at higher altitude tick slightly faster. See also Barycentric coordinate time Geocentric coordinate time